Okay, so good morning again. We have here a simple presentation of the program based on our lecture handout. So this is just again to show you how the complete program look like and the output of the program. All right, so this is using class and derived class. So we have our namespace. By the way, this is a console application. So we have again the namespace. We have our base class. Okay. The base class is where we create a derived class or where our derived class inherits its behavior. So we have public class person. We have the declaration of the variables. Now we have the class constructor, uh, parameterized constructor. So we have parameters or arguments here, string name and int age. Okay, so we use the this keyword to refer to the instance fields that we have inside our constructor person. And then we have the method display info so our method will simply print okay, the value of our name and age or the full name and age right and then this is our derived class so the syntax for writing the derived class you have the derived class name and you have the colon fo followed by our base class Alright, so again, we can have, or we have here the instance variables. For our derived class, again, we have here the constructor class student with our arguments or our parameters, string name, int age, long id, and string program. And then this is our... Uh, inheriting the instance variables from our base class. Alright, so again, this is separated by column. And then again, we have to refer to our instance fields for the constructor student. And then we have here another method, display student info. Now, inside this method, we invoke or call our base method the display info and then again we will have here printing or writing the values for our student id and program all right so from here and when we execute this display or base that display info method we will get the output or the result once the particular once the method is executed so we'll be getting there the name and the age okay because that will be this because this is the output of the display info method all right to print the full name and age okay now all right so now we have our main method so inside the main method, we declared the instance of our student containing our, of course, the data okay, to be passed on to our class. All right, so we have here, again, our constructor argument. You have string, int, long, string. So when we instantiate our value it should follow the same sequence of the data types the sequence of the data types that we uh, used when we declared the class constructor so we have string int long and again string All right now we have here the call to our method display student info All right so we execute this one when we run our program, it will call on our display student info method. So this will be executed. 
and then we call on the method we inherit the method base method display info that gives us the output of the name and the age and then here we get the output for the student ID and the program right so that is how our program looked like and for our output of course let's run the program so simply we'll get the name the age the student ID and the program Right. So there you go. That's our final. That's the output of the program. All right. So that ends our sample program. See you again next time. Have a great day. And thank you for watching. You might want to hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much.